Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And there's nothing quite like the magic of a cup competition. Live action coming up for you. It's Boca Juniors, and they take on Cruz Azul. Well, there's nothing like a good cup run to boost confidence, and these two teams will be hoping this could be their year to win this tournament. Yes, there's a long way to go, but this is still a big game for both teams. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. If they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the fullbacks can push on. Let's hope they do that today. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. Be and in for a terrific contest. It's Boca Juniors, and they take on Cruz Azul. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right at opportunity? They had to react and did. And Eduardo Salvio. Well, it looks so promising. And he read it well defensively. Will it happen for them? Might go ahead. Can they cover up? Not able to put it behind for what will be a corner here. They take it short. Marcos Rojo. Could play it in. Luis Advincula. Is it going to be? An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And he could really get at the opposition. Romero. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And still an opportunity. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. And confidently converts it.
Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. So back underway, they've leveled it at 1-1 here. Antuna. Luis Abram. An attack full of promise. And just narrowly wide. Well, he likes to run at them. Oh, splendid skill. Oscar Romero. Well, beaten easily here. Well, given the position he found. And he stopped them in their tracks. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. And threading it forward. And they could do damage. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. Well, 2-1 it is here. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, there you have it. The hosts have had so much of the possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. Oh, Stewart, an opportunity! Really sound goalkeeper. Disappointing pass. Fruitful looking attack. This looks promising. It has to be! But if truth be told, he made it right. Romero. And he read it well. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Something to worry about here. Can't miss, surely. And with that, the first half draws to a close. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals, and I expect more from him in the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. And this situation could be dangerous. This could square the game. And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. Has the strength to hang on to it. And the referee says penalty. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't... Still a chance. Well, it came to getting in there to intercept. Delightful pass. Could be threatening. Rivero. How about the cross? It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. Well, they... Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. 
you've really got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. Nicely timed tackle. And continues his run. Salvio. Well, sloppy in possession. An important interception. Christian Tabo. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And a good looking ball. A chance now with the corner. I'm not sure why the fans are so upset. I think the referee got that absolutely right. Really good interception. Still passing it around with authority. Making progress. And teammates to play it to. Well, far too much on that particular cross. Marcos Rojo. Might really be able to trouble them here. Can they forge ahead? goal again and it's all about the little Maradona turn to beat his man leaves him for dead to touch line so a throw in here and we've entered the final five minutes Salvio and options in the centre Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And that is how to win the ball back from your opponent. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. guilt-edged opportunity he couldn't avail himself of it you have to say that's a big chance missed he had to score there that makes it difficult now and there it is the final whistle the home fans are going to be happy with this result yes Derek fairly comfortable in the end wasn't it thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most part and going forward there was some really nice incisive plays as well good result for them and in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, he played well, scored a good goal and linked up the play. But he'll be disappointed he didn't score from the spot. In the end, though, it doesn't really matter. Vincula. Is it going to be? An early goal, it is the ideal opening. And threading it forward, and they could do damage. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. 
And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. Might really be able to trouble them here. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a goal! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Sensational! Well, here's the goal again, and it's all about the little Maradona turn to beat his man. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over.